Hey guys, Country Fried Goth here. So I have been like kind of putting off this video because I'm super embarrassed. For those of you who have known me for like any length of time, you will know that I have not always been the cute little goth bean that you all know and love. So the pictures that I'm getting ready to show you are from 2009 to 2015. So yeah, um, definitely embarrassed. Um, you can see like a lot of changes and yeah. So let's get started. This one's not so bad. This one was from um, whenever I was on vacation in uh, North Carolina the first time I went with my grandma at Senior Frogs. Aw, and then there's me and Danielle, <laughs> whenever Danielle still had short hair. And then me with my ungodly freaking poof that I had. Um, I dyed my hair so much, like I was changing the color of it like every every like three to four weeks it seemed like and it actually fried it so my hair was like an unmanageable poof so um, I actually like completely shaved my head and yeah my hair's been fine ever since because I don't change the color every two seconds but you know whatever <laughs> and this one I look like I look like a teenager. I took this one two years ago, and uh, you can see my Blink 182 shirt I got going on in there. And I hate it whenever I smile like that. Like I always do this weird tongue thing, and I don't know why, but I do. And then one of my eyes is always like super crinkly, and the other one's like wide open and whatever. And here I am at Subway. This was like, this was at the Robinson store. So this was like right before Danielle and I moved in with each other I believe and then here I am like this is this right here is like pretty close to my natural hair color um what you can probably see is my roots like my hair is weird like my roots are like brown but whenever I like let my hair like grow out it gets like blonder as it gets longer um yeah so there's that <laughs> and here I am with bleach blonde hair um I'm not sure why I'm making that face but I am yes I remember this. Um, this is how I used to do my makeup like every freaking day and super embarrassing because it looked like I had like no upper lip because I didn't like shape it properly, which I still don't, but you know, whatever. It's better. Um, this was after I cut my bangs while I was drunk. So a <laughs> really, really bad decision on my part, but you know, live and learn. Okay, this one. Um, I used to wear nerd glasses all the time because I thought that it was the cool thing to do. And in this one, this was before I took my Monroe out and my tongue ring out. <laughs> this picture, I always forget about this one. Whenever I worked at Walmart, one of, like, he wasn't really my boss, he was more like my, my supervisor kind of guy. Um, anytime I would wear my nerd glasses to work and we would get into, like, a battle of wits or something, and I would, like, say something that he didn't have a response for, and anytime I wore the nerd glasses, he would always say, party on Garth and I'm like I don't even fucking look like Garth from Wayne's World so I did this comparison and like over a hundred people I'm pretty sure liked it on Instagram and then they're like yeah you totally do and I'm like fuck you guys so <laughs> oh my god okay I went through a kind of redneck phase but it wasn't really like super redneck um I was partying with a lot of my redneck friends like a lot so you know like the people you hang out with tend to rub off on you, so that explains that. <laughs> and then this was on dress up day at work. I remember um, we all agreed to go as like girls from the 80s. So the other three girls that I was working with that night all had like the cutoff sweaters and like everything neon. And then I showed up with like crazy hair and a headband and like I think I was wearing a Def Leppard shirt. And they're like, what are you? And I'm like, 80s and I remember I wore my pleather pants and it was the worst experience of my life because it was like really really hot for some reason that day and I was sweaty and they were sticking to me and it was just bad bad time oh my god okay so <laughs> right here I was going through a bit of a dude bro phase um, I remember those freaking spiky tongue rings like I don't know how many of them I swallowed um, there was one of them that which I'm sure it's been swept up by now. Well, hopefully it's been swept up by now. It was um, in, on the floor in the back room of Subway for who knows how long because I was eating something on my break and it fell out and I don't know where it went. This one, um, this is hard. Um, this was kind of like at the peak of my eating disorder struggle. I still have that tank top. I, I can't fit into it now for to save my fucking life, but I still have it. Um, that was pretty much all I wore was like stretchy pants and tank tops. 
because like even though it's like you can tell by like looking like I'm still I'm still like kind of big but I'm not like the size I am now obviously but I still thought that I was like super fucking fat and I would only wear stretchy pants because I was super self-conscious which I'm still self-conscious but not as bad now I guess okay this um this was this is kind of like towards the end of like my my scene queen days or whatever um that fucking blue plaid shirt i wore it like anytime it was clean like i'm pretty sure i wore it until like the buttons just like fell off from being used so much <laughs> okay um i remember this was like i took up i did like kind of like a photo shoot or whatever um whenever I, whenever i did did my first video for my old youtube channel there we go des and nate i watched a lot of des and nate i don't know if i'm like going for a sexy librarian thing or what the fuck's going on oh my god Okay, so I used to be obsessed with Blackville Brides, like unhealthy amount obsessed with Blackville Brides. There was a friend of mine, she was um, Kayla Von Catastrophe was what she called herself, and I was Sammy Von Sixlets. Super fucking embarrassing. I can't believe I'm like talking about this. Um, pretty much every time we went to a show, like we would do like the stitches on our face, like old school Blackville Brides. Yeah. And as you can see, I was uh, cutting my own hair because it looked freaking awful. This was like right after I cut my own bangs for the first time and the shirt I'm wearing, I wish I still fucking had it. I don't think I do. Um, there were some, some friends of mine that were in a band called Army of Aries and the shirt said LOL WTF AOA OMG. And I used to wear that all the freaking time. And I remember um, my dad wasn't really mad, but my stepmom was like super fucking pissed because I was, I think I was 17, like getting ready to turn 17. And I came home with a shirt from a show that said WTF on it. And she like hit the fucking ceiling cause she was so pissed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this picture. Um, Okay, this, the Devil Wears Prada shirt, I wore it until like there were no like seams on it. Threadbare, there were like holes in the armpit, but I refused to throw it away. Okay, this picture. <laughs> I still have these leggings or, or these thigh highs. I can't fit into them anymore, but it's just, as embarrassing as it is to say, I, I secretly hope to one day like be able to wear them again because I used to wear these fucking all the time with short shorts and high top converse. And I don't know why I look so angry in this picture, but I do. I don't even know. Okay. Um, another like, oh, I'm so sad. Look at me thinking while I'm holding this random piece of my hair. I, I don't, I don't know. Apparently that was the thing to do back in the day. Um, these are all like from high school, like high school era. So that would be 2000, like August of 2008 to May of 2011. This one, like obvious fake extensions are obvious, first of all. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a sidelined shirt in this. Um, Sideline is a band from Southern Illinois. Really fucking awesome. <laughs> and then here I am with, um, oh shit, what? Don't, don't tell them it's us. Um, they, they played, I don't even remember what show it was, but I remember like I wanted them to sign it, but I didn't even think it through. Like I was wearing the shirt and then I'm like, sign my shirt. And so they all like signed the O, which the O sat like right here. So looking back, that was probably not smart on my part. It was kind of like gross on theirs because like I was an idiot teenager and these guys, I mean like these guys were like also idiot teenagers, but they were like older idiot teenagers. So yeah, just bad. And then again, Obvious extensions are obvious. Um, oh, that was before I marked up on my Edward poster. Yes, I had a Twilight poster in my room. Fucking judge me. Again, this was like my favorite like local band tee. I wore this until like the sleeves almost fell off pretty much. <laughs> okay, this one. Um, I pierced my own lip specifically for this picture. I remember that. And I got super freaking infected. And then I had, I had to wind up taking it out because my lip was really swollen. And then like a few months later, like my friend Sabrina and I went and did like the same thing with an ear piercing gun. And then I had to take mine out immediately because like the, the post like curved in my lip and I'm like, my dad's gonna freak out. So I had to like take it out and then she tried to leave hers in, but it was like super fucking infected and it was just a bad time. And that's all for the pictures. So, um, 
Now, like, again, I was from the ages of 14 to 22 in these pictures. Super fucking embarrassing. Um, there's, there was more, which I pulled these off of um, Meet Me, which used to be my yearbook back whenever it was fucking awesome and not just like a site for, for hooking up and dick pics all the time. As you can see, that was like a, a, a journey, a journey in to Sammy's past, I guess, kind of thing. Um, so that was back like kind of in my like scene phase. Just very embarrassing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's kind of like my, my, I guess it'd be kind of like a de-evolution because like I did it backwards. Like the first picture that I showed was from 2015 and then it went back from 2015 all the way back to 2009. That was just something like fun that I wanted to do. So yeah, just remember that it's free to be nice and don't be a dick. Bye guys.